Tesla. Are you long or short it? Oh, right, okay. I'm going to look at this. I'm going to look at all these things on a weekly chart. I'm going to look at them all on a weekly chart and a daily chart, okay? Apple stock. Tell me what you want to know about it, okay? Because otherwise, I can't, I can't, you're just saying the stock, okay. Okay, this, because otherwise they're going to just say entry point. What? Okay, the market is dropping. Why do you want to buy this? Okay, you want to know if app, you want to know if right. Okay, so listen, here's here's the deal, right? This is going up and dropping. De I'm going to ask you this: Do you have a defined setup? You said, what's the entry point, Scott? Do you have a do you have a setup that you use to tell you whether this is worth buying? I tell you this right now: there is no way in this world I'd be even considering buying this. Okay, not in the slightest. And I look at this on a daily chart. Okay, this is a. Based on this, this is a pullback and an uptrend, right? But based on this chart, this is a, this is, this is taken out. This is going down. This is a stage four going down. So when I, when you look at those two things, okay, they're not saying telling you the same thing. So I wouldn't trade that if I was you're looking at. That. Now, what time frame do you look at when you trade? Apple. Is it a, you're on a four hour. Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay. Still the same thing. <laughs> it's still saying the same thing. This has taken out the 50 here. This is above the 20 and inside the MOBO here. I'm, tr I'm trading at the moment. Just curious about Apple. You're not trading. Right, okay. My shirt would be in the lost property department doing these doing your shirt would be in the lost property department doing these trades. I know. <laughs> right? Porter, you were in that boat before you came and joined Sunday Insiders though. I bet you. So we had a trade that we got in here, down here, and rode this all the way. Okay. So is this an uptrend or a downtrend? This is a retracement. Okay, let's zoom out so you can see this. This is a look at the bigger picture. This is a retracement in an uptrend. This is a retracement, a big retracement, but a re retracement in an uptrend. So none of these stocks you're pointing out are things that make me go, oh, wow, this is setting up. It's not. It's not. And I know what you're missing. You've got no defined way to say, is this my setup? You have no defined philosophy of what you're doing, no defined setup, right? No defined setup criteria. This plus this plus this plus this plus this. Listen, you gotta understand this key rule. And I did this in the presentation of five financial legacy powers yesterday that we we're recording. Right? There is three modes of trading. There is mechanical trading, the subjective trading, and there's and there's um, intuitive trading. Intuitive trading, right? You Intuitive trading is where you have a feel for the markets and you just like in tune with it and you know what is likely to happen. Subjective is where you're looking at price patterns and you're saying, oh, wow, look at this. This is probably going to do this and this. And you cup, cup and tea handle and it's doing all these snapbacks and all these things like that, right? And then mechanical trading is hard rules. Price is 20 is above the 50. The, the 50 is above the 200. It's made a 21 day. And it's, um, we get in one tick above the high of the 21 day. That's hard rules. Right, here's the deal. You could never, ever, ever do intuitive trading until you've mastered subjective trading. Do you hear me? You cannot do intuitive trading until you've mastered subjective trading. When you've, you can never do subjective trading until you've mastered hard rules trading. Does that make sense? Here's the deal. HFTs are doing this and they are killing it. And they're probably making ridiculous sums of money in these markets. Most of the best traders in the world are a who are sitting behind a desk trading. Okay, They're not trying to compete with these guys. Where do these guys trade? Intraday and daily time frames. They are dominating that. They are about 70, probably 80% now of the market right now, of the acts of the orders. The other people, they're not looking at intraday daily. 
they're looking at weekly. <laughs> right? The, the, the other human professionals are trading these time frames. They're in positions from one month to three months on their trades. Okay? These guys are doing something completely different down here. Okay. Their trading is a fusion of mechanical and subjective. But to get there, you first have to master mechanical trading. Hard rules. What's your philosophy? What's your setup? What's your entry criteria? What's your stop? What's your break-even rules? What's your trade management rules? What's your profit-taking rules? What's your scaling-in rules? Etc. 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 Hard rules for all of those things. Does that make sense? So when you're asking me a question, that is what my brain is going to be asking you. Okay? To me... That's the best summary of approach I've ever heard. What do you mean? I mean, how you categorize the three types of trading and how one should approach it. Okay, brilliant. Good. I'm glad you took that. I'm glad you took that. <laughs>